Hi, my name is Helen. I'm Roger. And I'm Valentina. And I'm Linda. We are the, the Nifty Family. family. Welcome to week four of God's, God's Good, Good Plan. Plan. This week, we're learning about what it means to tell God how we feel no matter what. We're going to start off by singing and dancing to Jesus together. Anthony and Valentina, what instruments did you bring? I brought a flute. I brought a microphone. That's great. I love it. Kids, you guys have one minute to go grab like your favorite instrument, your crayons and papers, and come back here to sing and dance to Jesus together. Ready, set, go! go!
Wow, great singing. My name is Olivia. You can set your instrument down and take a seat. That song reminds me that we can believe and trust God and His good plans. Today, we are learning a story from the Bible. When we read the Bible, we learn about how much God loves us and the good, good plans that He has for us. Today, we are learning a story from the Bible about a woman who was really sad. And you know what she did? She talked to God about how she felt. Her name was Hannah. Hannah loved God. And she's going to show us how we can tell God how we feel no matter what. Let's put on our listening ears and our thinking caps and listen to our Bible story. Slapstick Theater, Hannah and God. This is Hannah. Hi. Hannah was married to a man named Elkanah. Hey. But they were not able to have any children. This made Hannah sad. Oh. It's okay. Come on. Every year, Hannah and Elkanah would go to the house of the Lord at Shiloh to pray to God and offer sacrifices. Hannah would cry out and pray to the Lord. She told God that if he gave her a son, she would give him back to him and that her son would serve God all the days of his life. <laughs> Hannah was so upset that one of the priests, Eli, thought there was something off about her. Uh... But Hannah told him that she had been praying because she had a broken heart. <laughs> Eli told her, May the God of Israel grant the request you've made. Thank you. And then Hannah was no longer sad. In due time, Hannah became pregnant and gave birth to a son. Yeah! She named him Samuel, for she said, I asked the Lord for him. Hannah did as she said she would. And once Samuel was a little older, she took him to the temple. Hannah prayed and gave thanks to God, and Samuel grew up in the temple serving the Lord. I love learning about Hannah. She shows us that we can pray to God and tell Him how we feel no matter what. God is always listening, and we can always trust God's plans no matter what. Hannah was sad. She really wanted a baby. She told God about what she was feeling. When you are sad because someone isn't sharing a toy with you, or when someone you love is sick and not feeling well, you can be like Hannah and tell God about how you feel. Let's think more about how we can always talk to God about what we are feeling by coloring. Today, we are coloring Hannah. Let's grab your paper and crayons and let's color. Hi friends, it's Gus. I'm excited to draw with you today. Let's draw Hannah. That's her right there. First, we're going to do a backwards J right in the middle of the paper. Mm-hmm. Now, go to the bottom of that J and make her ear with a nice little C. Awesome! Next, let's do her nose. In the middle, right about here, make a little L. Do a little diagonal line, but not all the way down. And then, draw another little line to connect these two lines for her nose. And now let's make her eyes by doing two big circles on either side of her nose. And then two little circles inside. And color them in. Oh, let's make her smile now. Go just under her nose and make a little curved line, like that. Great! Okay, now go back up to make a little dot just above her eye. From that dot, we're going to start making her hair. Make a curved line across the top and make a big curved line up. And come back in the other direction and make three puffs on top. <laughs> nice! I'll go back to that dot. Yup, right here. And draw a line down just to the side of her eye. Great! Now draw another line down and connect it to the top of her ear. 
Let's go back to the top and at the end of her hair here, make a line across to the left. Uh, see these two points? Make a line to connect them. Great job, you finished her hair. Now let's make her head scarf. Starting right here, let's make a curved line this way and keep drawing by coming down all the way along to the side of her face. Go ahead and make two lines under her chin to make her neck. And we did it! Thanks for drawing with me! Bye! <laughs>
and just like us, they have to stay home and hang out online. Oh, and guess what? We get to join them. So let's put on our listening ears and our thinking caps and let's hang out with the Scuppets. Hi everyone, I'm Denisha. I'm so glad that you're joining us today. You know, the Scuppets are gonna be on in just a second and we're gonna have so much fun today. <laughs> I'm here! Me too! Hi friends! Hi! Hey, hey, hey everyone! I wanna show you something cool I ordered online! Okay, ready? Look! <gasps> ah, T-Rex! <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, <laughs> funny, sure. That is so fun, Winston. It's fun to think about funny ways that we could spend our time, like dressing up and imagining things while we play. Yeah, that's why I got it. I love to imagine that I'm a T-Rex playing with my other dinosaur friend. Winston, I just ordered one too. Maybe we could video chat and pretend together. <laughs> oh, neat. That's a great idea. You know, it's good for us to find ways to play with our friends, even when we can't be together all the time. And that's what we're gonna do right now. Linguini, take it away. That I will. It's a time for a game with Linguini. The winner will get one of my Scuppetin famous pizzas. Are you ready? Yeah! Fine, I am kind of hungry. Today, we are playing a game called Bring Me Something. I will say an object that you have to find in your house, and you will get it. The first to get it will be the winner. So, let's do it. Cool, let's go! Okie dokie, I want you to bring me a stuffed animal. Go! Got it! Oh, that was a lickety split. Yeah, I always have Tuttle with me. He makes me feel safe. Well then, you are the winner. Uh. Oh! Got it. Me too! I got mine! Did he win? Gus is actually the winner. He got this in record time. Oh, yay! Oh, good job, Gus! I'm sending one linguine pizza to you and your friend, the turtle. Get ready for the fastest and freshest pizza in all of Scuppetin. <laughs> ah! Oh, th thank you! That's all for today. Remember that linguine is open for delivery and the curbside pickup. So, order from the freshest and fastest pizza in Scuppetin. <laughs> Thanks, Linguini. That was fun. Oh, hey guys, we're getting a call from our friends in the Philippines. Wow, that's, that's really far away, right? Yeah, and isn't that the great part about being able to video chat? Like, we can talk to our friends all over the world. Okay, this is our friend, GL. Let's see what she has to ask us. Hi, Scott Pets. My name is GL. Are you, are you sad about the coronavirus? I wish it can stop so I can play outside every day and go, go, go everywhere I want in the car and having a good day with my mom and dad. Oh man, GL. Thank you for asking that question and sharing with us how you feel about what's going on in the world. Friends, what do you think? I'm sad too, GL. I miss playing with all my friends. Yeah, GL, I am sad too. I, I miss going outside whenever I want and seeing other scuppets and friends. I miss singing with my friends and, and dancing. Yeah, I think we could say that we're all a little bit sad right now. I know I am. And you know what, friends? You can tell God how you feel no matter what. Can, can I tell him when I'm scared? Of course. What about when I'm angry? Yep. Um, what about when I'm happy? Yeah, you can tell him about that too. God loves each and every one of us so much. He wants to hear how we're feeling. Remember, God has a good plan for each and every one of us, but he doesn't always give us the things that we want. When we don't like what's happening, we can tell God that we're upset. And remember that God's plans are always good. And no matter what is happening, we can thank God for something every day. Tell me guys, what are you thankful to God for? Oh, oh, that's easy. I'm thankful to God for my T-Rex hat, see? And I'm thankful to God for music so I can sing and dance. I made a pop 
popsicle today, and I'm thankful for that yummy treat. Mmm. I'm thankful for Tuttle. I'm thankful for my kitchen, so I can bake lots of things in my free time. That's great. I'm thankful to God for my family and the time I get to spend with them right now. And you know, it's okay to feel sad about some things, but also thankful and happy for other things. God made all of our emotions, and He wants us to tell Him about whatever we're feeling. What's that? Uh, we have another call from the Philippines. Woo! Oh, and this time it's our friend Taylee. Hi, Taylee. Hi, Stuppets. What do you know about my country, the Philippines? I know that we have a lot of friends there like you, Taylee, and GL, and Trixie, and so many others. Oh, and I know that there are really beautiful beaches there, and, oh, and turtles. Turtles! I love turtles! I know you have really good food. I'd love to know more stuff, though. Oh, uh, maybe you can tell us more about it? Yeah, that would be fun to hear. Well, friends, our Scuppet Hangout is about to be over, but before we go, let's have our five second dance party. Everyone, get up, let's dance. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you for dancing with me. Now, I want to remind you that you can tell God whatever you're feeling. He has good, good plan for you. God loves you guys so much. And, and we love you too. We'll see you next time for another Scuppet Hangout. Bye, Bye. friends. Bye. Wow, I loved playing Bring Me Something with the Scuppets. Now, I know some of us are sad because we can't do things right now like we used to, but remember what our friends learned with Denisha. No matter what we feel, scared, sad, angry, or happy, we can always pray to God. God has a good plan for each and every one of us. Even if He doesn't give us the things that we want, we can always thank God for something every day. You can do that before you go to sleep or while you are eating your breakfast. Let's pray right now and talk to God, okay? Put five fingers over here and five fingers over there and put them together for a prayer. Repeat after me. Dear God, thank you so much for loving us. Help us remember that we can always tell you what we feel just like Hannah. We can tell you everything. Thank you for people who you send to help us when we feel sad or frustrated. We love you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That's it for today, friends. Thank you for joining us. Remember, God loves you so much and has good plans for you. And we love you too. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye for now.